Let me ask, where, where are you from? I'm Somali. Okay, okay. Because earlier I was asking what's the correct way to say it, because obviously some people I've yes, heard say... Yeah. some people say Somalian. <laughs> the word that don't make sense. Don't, don't say Somalian to a Somali. That's the worst thing you can say. It's just so, it sounds so weird. It's Somali, you're Somali. We are, we are Somali, we speak Somali. Somalian is just like an alien with some and <laughs> it's just not it's just not the no, like, we've been trying to correct people for the last 10 years people are still saying Somalian it, some people let it slide some people like me I'll just correct people say yeah that's not the right terminology still so the right term is Somali Somali yeah okay and the country is Somalia Somalia but I'm from Somaliland okay that's when it gets complicated now yeah because the country is actually divided. Okay, so it's two separate countries or? Yeah, two different co separate governments. And by the way, I never knew this until I got to year seven. <laughs> my whole life I was like, yeah, Somalia, Somalia, Somalia. And then my dad corrected me, I'm like, wait, what? Yeah, there's two separate governments yeah. due to when they were colonized. One side was colonized by Italy, other was colonized by Britain, which is Somalia. And yeah, same language, same culture, same people, just different governments. People from Somali or Somali land, would they classify as black? That's where it gets tricky. Okay. Because the whole classifying yourself as black thing, for someone like me who grew up here, I get it. But you're going, if you're speaking to someone of an African descent who's lived in Africa, who only identifies of their country of origin, it doesn't make sense to them. Because if you go and speak to an African, an African speak to another African, that like, okay, Africa, 90% black, you're not going to say to them, where are you from? I'm black. No, they all state the country they're from. Yeah. It wasn't until I came here that when you're applying for stuff, you know, what are you, black African, black, that's, that's, where, that's where it derives from. And then I just, me personally, I just think to myself, all right, cool, black African, that's, that's the only thing that's here. That's what I'm going to take, that's what I'm going to say. I wouldn't say I don't identify as black, because that's a bit silly. But I can see why historically people don't want to be seen as just as a colour. I feel like if you're from Caribbean descent, African descent, that should be where you're, where you're stating first. You know what I mean? Like the, 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 the colour thing is a bit low because it's more of an American flex. It's not really of a British flex. Brit Britain, like when you come over here, you, you are British Somalian, British Ghanaian, you know what I mean? British Jamaican, like they will always put your country next to it. We never used to say British black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We never really said British black, bro. Yeah. British, the whole black thing came from this whole American culture that we kind of like took in here and everyone started saying you're black. Because more, more time people knew where they were from. Mm. And unfortunately for the um, African Americans, unfortunately due to slavery, they don't know where they're from. So that's why they stick to black American, you know, black African American. Yeah, so some people, I mean, it's a complicated world these days. You have, you, have to, you have to be respectful to how people want to identify as. If someone does not want to be identified as black, I guess you've just got to respect it. And a lot, a, lot, a lot of Africans and a lot of Somalians don't want to be just known as a colour. Yeah. They want you to like, you, like I'm, from, I'm from Somalia, please say I'm Somali. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think that's fair enough. 